All right, so in this video, what I want to show you guys is I want to show you guys how to use the bump switch, okay? Because a couple of you guys have asked me how to use it and how we're going to use it. We're just going to, I'm going to show you how to use it using the wait until and the repeat until. So the very first thing I want, you to, want to show you is if you come down here to the control and we select the repeat until, I'm going to put this the very, t actually, before I even do that, to speed things up, I'm actually going to put the drive velocity and I'm going to put it at 100%. Okay? And then I'm going to put the repeat until the very, very top. And then I'm going to come down to the sensing. And then I'm going to go to, uh, where is it? I'm going to say bumper sensing. And I'm going to say if the left bumper is pressed, you can even choose the right bumper, just whatever you want. Um, and then I'm going to tell it to drive forward. So I'm going to say drive forward, and you want to make sure you choose the correct one. So if you want it to drive forever until the bumper is, is hit, and that's what you want to do, you want to make sure you choose this one, not drive forward for 200 millimeters. Otherwise, your bump switch won't actually work. You'll never know if it does work, is what I'm trying to say. Then I'm going to select stop driving. So as soon as it hits the left bump, I want you to stop driving, and then I want you to wait for two seconds. So let me grab that, I'm going to say two seconds, and then after that I'm going to say drive in reverse. And then I should know if this has worked correctly. All right, so I'm going to hit play. So again, I set the, set, uh, drive, set the drive velocity to 100%. It stops for two seconds, as you can see, and it's in, it went in reverse for 200 millimeters. So what it did was, is I said repeat until, so I want it to repeat, I want it to drive forward until the left bumper is pressed. Once it is pressed, it's going to stop driving, wait for two seconds, and then it's going to go in reverse for 200 millimeters. Let's take a look at the wait until. All right, so for the wait until, I'm going to come back down to the control, and I'm going to go to the wait until. Where is that? There it is. And I'm going to say, again, sensing, and I'm going to grab the bumper sensor. And I'll choose the right bumper just for fun. And then I'm going to tell it to stop driving. And then I'm going to tell it to wait for two seconds again. And then I'm going to have it drive in reverse for 200 millimeters, just so we know that it's done correctly. So let me go ahead and refresh this, hit play. Let's watch what happens. Oh, nothing happens because I didn't actually tell it to drive forward yet. So let me go ahead and put drive forward. That's my mistake. All right, so again, this is going to drive forward until the right bumper is pressed. Then it's going to stop driving, wait for two seconds, and then it's going to go in reverse for 200 millimeters. So let's take a look. So there it goes. Oh, it's been pressed, it stopped driving, waited for two seconds, and then it went in reverse for 200 millimeters. So that is how you use the bump switch, the left side and the right side, using a repeat until and the wait until. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to me.